Well, I'm a little out of breath. We had a little fun up there to, just now. But um, anyhow, it's with great ple pleasure that I welcome everyone here today. Um, it's both an honor and a pr privilege to be able to share with you a close look at our, our peregrines and to uh, let you witness the uh, banding of the first uh, wild-born peregrine falcons in the Lehigh Valley. We'll get started because I know you're not here to listen to me or see me. You want to see the birds, so we'll get on with it. Yes. <laughs> This is the first little guy. We're going to start by weighing these birds. We're going to put them in these holding bags, and that helps us to weigh them. The holding bag also keeps them quiet. Okay, so we know that the first bird is a male, so he's going to get a male band, which is a size 6 band. Now we're going to take him out of here, and I'm going to hand him over to Bill Streeter. As Jeff mentioned, Bill is from the Delaware Valley Raptor Center, or Bill is the Delaware Valley Raptor Center. Hold them while you... <laughs> sure. okay. Bill will give them a medical exam. We just want to make sure that these birds are in good health. If they have any medical issues, we will deal with those medical issues. This first band that I'm putting on, the right leg, is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service band. This has nine digits on it. So that number is unique to this bird. No other bird in the world will receive that number. What we're going to do is take them back upstairs, get them in the nest so that they'll be happier and mom and dad will be happier. Four of our 27 nests in Pennsylvania are on PPL properties. Well, this is very important for the recovery program. Uh, it is a tremendous advantage to the birds. And PPL has been a tremendous partner uh, in helping to support and protect these birds on its property. And PPL also has osprey nests and bald eagle nests on its properties around the state. And uh, this is just wonderful. Great. Very good. 